Small miracles do exist. Book one, book two, they went on sale in time. Yes! But now it's time to freak out a little bit because T minus 72 hours, three sleeps until Comic Con. What did I get myself into? Hello, imposter syndrome. No, you're not welcome to the party. Let's talk about it. Comic-Con, a dream come true. Something that I've always wanted to attend as a guest, as a fan, is now something I get to do as a first, as an author, as a vendor. Welcome to my worries, woes, and packing vlog for Four State Comic Con. I, yeah, what did I get myself into? Welcome back, everybody. My name is Jenna O'Malley. I am your soul writer, author of sci-fi fantasy with dashes of romance and nerdy references. Alongside the raw healing stories my characters weave throughout time and space, I help other souls, such as yourselves, get back to reading and doing what you love to do most, things that come from the soul. So, a fair warning. I have a kitty. So you might hear Moo Moo mewling in the background at me because she doesn't want to take a nap. Yes, I'm talking about you for a moment. And she acknowledges everybody else. So I kind of woke up this morning. It is about 72 hours, three sleeps until con. And I literally asked myself, what the heck am I doing? Um, as Mel said recently over on their Scroll and Scribe channel, imposter syndrome's a thing. <laughs> um, I'm very used to just putting my butt in the chair and doing the thing. Uh, yeah, this career change, which is what we're talking about during my live stream for sitting down with Soul Raider Unscripted is more than I could have ever imagined. More than I could have ever hoped and dreamed. I couldn't have planned it to go as well as this year is going in some regards. There's been many pitfalls. I am way behind where I wanna be writing wise, like a full book behind where I wanna be writing wise. Cause I wanted to do a book a month and I'm on book three when I should be on book four. Yes, I'll redo my nails before con because they're all chipped. Anyway. I'm also going, am I just burning myself out for the sake of workaholicism? Or am I planting seeds that are actually going to pay off? And not in months, but rather in weeks. I made a promise, a commitment to be authentic about who I am and I'd be lying if I didn't say I, I'm anxious but at the same time I keep challenging myself every time I get really anxious I keep saying are you anxious or is that just the past coming in and making you confuse excitement for something else because physically the body treats the two things very 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 similarly it's the mind the soul the heart that treats them <laughs> differently. Am I choosing to be anxious versus over choosing to be excited? I should be excited! But really am I lying to myself? I don't want to get my hopes up too high. My hope is to sell out of every copy I have. I'm taking 20 copies of both books. That's normally what I take to events like this and I normally do sell out. So I have 20 copies of book one. 20 copies of book two. I have a bunch of book swag type things that people who buy books will get along with a personalized autograph inside, of course. I also have some mugs for sale. 
I just need to prove to myself that I can do this so that I can do bigger events more often. The last couple of years, I've just feel like I've been planting new seeds every year, tilling it under in the winter, and then replanting again something new until I figure out what works. I know from the courses I'm taking and from the courses I'm teaching that sometimes sandbox mode, throwing spaghetti at the wall, frizzy hair from worry and all is a thing, and that's okay. I'm not exactly in a research and development mode, but I need to keep doing R&D to make sure I'm getting all the kinks out of everything, making it look good, making it feel good. So that way when showtime comes, the stage manager in me can take a step back and the artist, the author, the creative I really am can step up, can step forward, can take over the foppish hat. Yes, fans of Malice, I'm going to get myself a Malice level foppish hat one day, as I rightly should. It's going to be fun. Friday night, as part of my writing sprints for Heart Breathings, I'm going to be doing a pack with me for con live stream. I have an event to go to for Beltane. I'm going to need the spiritual reset that evening. So instead of doing Friday night, eight to late, we're going to do true night owls mode and start at 9 p.m. and run until 11 to midnight, somewhere in there, because I got to be out at the convention setting up between 7 and 7.30 Saturday morning, so I'm going to want to get a solid night's sleep, and for me, that's five to six hours. Kid you not, that's typical for me. So to everyone who is driving in to come say hello, or if you are in the Maryland, Hagerstown, Maryland area, come say hi. I would love for you to track me down, and if you see this video, say, Ian sent me, okay? I'll know what you meant. Say, Ian sent me. Hugs and love to you. Take care of yourself. You've always been worth it. And so is your voice. Thank you to our lovely Zomreen stories over at Emirates Library and the Myrna Private Collection. Whether you're a human ally, sunwalker, bard, songweaver, merry misfit, or more, thank you for subscribing to our ranks. We thank you for all you do to support us. Want to join our endeavors? Head over to reamstories.com slash Myrna Private Collection. That's reamstories.com slash M-E-R-N-A private collection, all one word, where you can access all of my books and more long before they are available at retailers and vendors. Hope to hang out with you there soon. Mm -hmm.